how to promote Redbubble products on Pinterest step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can promote your own Redbubble product on Pinterest. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is what is Redbubble? How do I promote on Pinterest? And how do I do this entire thing? Well, Redbubble is a print on demand platform. So all you have to do on Redbubble is upload your designs and then you can get them printed on clothing, stickers, masks, phone cases, all that. And anyone that wants to order your design, they can order it from here on any of these items, uh, any of these uh, categories, any of the items present in these categories, and you can promote your items on Pinterest. So you might be wondering, I'm just uploading a design, how do I really go on about promoting it on Pinterest? Because on Pinterest, there are like uh, artistic pins and creative stuff. So how can you promote your Redbubble product on Pinterest? Well, it is not that difficult. I have signed up for the business version of Pinterest. Now, this is not necessary. If you do want, you can sign up. It's free. You're going to get approved in a day or two. And after you have been approved, you can easily get detailed analytics. Other than the analytics, there is basically no difference between a regular Pinterest account and a business version. Now, to promote your Redbubble products on Pinterest, let's say if you just want to promote your design, you can promote it on Pinterest. But if you want to go into their clothing section and let's say you want to promote the apparel of your design then you can also do that as well now to do that the first thing you're going to do is log on to your pinterest account or you can create a new pinterest account with your email address once you have done that and this is going to be like your home page and from your home page you're just going to click on create pin and then you're going to add your design and then add titles and tags over here now one thing I recommend is instead of uploading the basic design from Redbubble, so if I go onto my Redbubble art, I click on manage portfolio and I take a look at my work. So I have added this design and instead of just adding a simple little design and then uploading it on Pinterest, you can amplify it in a couple of different ways. But one way that I recommend it is Canva. Now, Canva enables you to create beautiful illustrations for free without having any previous knowledge with graphic design whatsoever. You can create gorgeous looking designs really genuinely they look so professional and so well done so you can easily use canva to redesign your design or you know make a banner or something like that to promote your design so i have this design over here that i also created using canva but now i'm going to create a pinterest pin to promote this design so this was my design that i have uploaded over here you can see i'm going to now create a pin to promote it now to begin creating our pin design we're just going to go on custom size and instead of pixels go into inches and go into the 12 by 16 you can uh, choose to create a larger pen if you want or a smaller one and i'm just going to click on create new design over here once you click on create new design uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on over here uh, these are like templates but you're going to go on to the element section and from your element section first i'm going to change the canvas color i'm going to make it like a darker gray and i'm going to go into my element section i'm going to search for a sketchbook and after I've searched for sketchbook, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my graphic section and see the different options or go into your photos as well. You can find options over there or you can just browse in your alt section. So there's like a canvas like this. This is actually pretty cute. So I'm just going to scroll around and see all the different options that I have. So I'm going to search for sketchbook page and I'm just going to take a look at the different images that are available or graphics. So there's also like a simple page like this, or there's also this kind of page. I think I'm going to go with this kind of page instead. Click on see all, and I'm just going to take a look at the different pages. I think this one is pretty cute. So I'm just expanding, and I guess the page design is going to get ruined if I expand it more than that. So I might choose a different kind of page that does not have this kind of issue. Uh, maybe I'll go with my initial choice. So I'm going to go into my recommendations and I'm just taking a look at the pages. And this pink one is also actually pretty cute. So let's try this one out and let me expand it. Yeah, I think this looks good. So I'm just going to place it over here like this. If it was like an actual register like so. And I'm going to decrease the size of it because I don't want it to fill out the entire canvas. I want to show everyone that this is not actually a entire page design this is like framing and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back into my element section i'm just going to search for borders over here on my element section and i'm just going to use these borders over here and i'm going to flip them like so rotate them to 180 degrees place them on the corners over here like this 
I'm just going to place it like so and I'm going to do command C and command V or control C and control V and then I'm going to re-rotate it onto 90 degrees and I'm going to place it over here like this and you can add different kind of borders if you want I think these are cute and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the upload section now I'm going to click on upload media I'm going to go and take the design that I created on Redbubble so my Redbubble design that I want to promote so I'm just uploading that design over here and now I'm just going to load it on my canvas and I'm going to add it like here at the bottom and I'm going to go into the text section on Canva now and on the text section on Canva what I'm going to do is uh, you can use one of these simple texts but I'm just going to use one of these pre-made font combinations and I'm just going to add some cute little text on the top so I'm going to use this and I'm going to place this over here and I'm going to add be empowered so whatever kind of marketing pitch you want to do you can add that over here like that so you can add whatever kind of text you want. I'm just going to go with Be Empowered by now. And then you can just click on download over here. Download this as a PNG or JPEG. And then you're going to go onto Pinterest. You're going to upload your image. So I'm just waiting for this to be downloaded. And I'm just going to open up my image like this. And then you're just going to add a title, add a bunch of different tags in the description. So it's going to be uh, feel empowered with this design on your apparel to reflect your motivations or to reflect your intentions or you just add like as a descriptive description as you can and once you have your description what you're just going to do is you're going to go into your design section over here so let's say you go on to your girl design and you can just click on your accessories or clothing or just whatever kind of uh, item you have and you can just copy that link over here so if i click on sell your art over here i can just browse my design so I'm going to go into my design and I'm going to click on this and then you can just copy the sharing link and upload it over here on Pinterest. So that is how simple and easy it is to promote your Redbubble products on Pinterest. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to promote your own designs as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.